Following Operation Sindor, the IAF is fitting BrahMos A missiles onto 20 more Su-30 MKIs at Hal Nashik, boosting the BrahMos-capable fleet from 40 to 60 jets. Upgrades include structural hardening for the 2.5-ton missile and integration tests, targeting completion by 2027. New BrahMos A variants extend range to 450 kilometers, enabling deeper standoff strikes and tripling the IAF supersonic long-range strike punch for synchronized salvos. Chennai-based Data Patterns Limited has emerged as the lowest bidder for DRDO's unmanned ground combat vehicle UGCV, an autoloader development project, with a bid of Rs 34.5 crore. The DRDO VRD initiative aims to create next-gen autonomous combat platforms with AI-driven control, modular sensors and rapid-fire autoloading. Beating BEL and Tata Advanced Systems, data patterns will supply and integrate core hardware, reinforcing India's push toward indigenous unmanned warfare and defense self-reliance. The DRDO has issued an expression of interest to identify Indian drone manufacturers capable of integrating its precision-guided munitions, including the UAV Launch Precision Guided Missile V3, onto advanced UAVs like Archer NG and Tapas BH-201. The move, part of the Atmanurba Bharat Drive, aims to strengthen India's armed UAV capabilities after Operation Sindor exposed gaps in drone-based precision strikes. Successful integration will boost India's indigenous intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance, and Guttuck Stealth Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle Ecosystem for future warfare. India and Brazil are finalizing a deal for six additional Embraer EMB-145 aircraft to expand the IAF's Netra AWNC fleet to nine. With Embraer assisting in sourcing used airframes, the Netra MK-1A variants featuring gallium nitride-based AESA radars, enhanced DW suites, and 450km scan range will greatly improve India's air surveillance and battle management. The collaboration, backed by DRDO and Adani Defense, underscores growing Indo-Brazil defense ties and supports Atmanurba Bharat in advanced airborne systems. Learning from Operation Sindor, the Indian Army is set for a historic transformation, embedding 30 to 70 drone specialists per infantry battalion and deploying up to 100,000 indigenous UAVs across 14 corps. Spearheaded by General Apendrad Vivedi, the plan prioritizes FPV, loitering and swarm drones for ISR, strike and logistics roles. Supported by IDX and PLI schemes, the initiative shifts India toward self-reliant drone warfare integrating new commando units, repair sections, and multi-domain formations for future conflicts. India's Babha Atomic Research Center is developing 55-megawatt and 200-megawatt Bharat small modular reactors, compact, safe nuclear units, that can power commercial ships and captive industrial plants. These reactors mark a major step toward expanding nuclear energy's share in India's power mix and achieving 100 gigawatts capacity by 2047. The government also plans to amend the Atomic Energy Act to allow private sector participation in nuclear power generation, fuel procurement and equipment supply under revised liability norms. India's DRDO is developing the Universal Communication Suite to modernize Indian Navy submarine communications, integrating internal and external systems for real-time coordination and stealth. Co-developed with an industry partner and tested at Naval Physical and Oceanographic Laboratory Kochi, the UCS unifies links to surface assets, command centers, and satellites. Designed for future indigenous submarines with AI and quantum secure capabilities, UCS enhances underwater operations, supporting India's drive for self-reliant, next-generation naval warfare systems.
In a breakthrough for predictive maintenance, the Indian Air Force's Software Development Institute has developed an AI-driven system that analyzes flight data recorder inputs to forecast engine failures in Su-30 MKI's AL-31 FP engines. Using machine learning on historical telemetry, the tool detects anomalies like vibration and fuel flow issues, reducing engine-related incidents by 40% since early 2025. The AI model, combining edge computing and cloud analytics, achieves 95% accuracy, boosting fleet safety and serviceability. This innovation marks a shift toward proactive digital warfare readiness, aligning with the IAF's Digital India Modernization Vision. In a major boost to India's AMCA Stealth Fighter Program, PTC Industries has received a letter of technical acceptance from DRDO's Semilac to develop and produce the titanium rear fin root casting, a critical structural component for the aircraft's tail assembly. The clearance, announced during the inauguration of PTC's new titanium and super alloy materials plant in Lucknow, cements India's capability to locally manufacture high strength aerospace components. The letter of technical acceptance, validates PTC's processes and design standards, paving the way for AMCA prototype assembly by 2026 and reinforcing Atmanurbar Bharat in advanced defense manufacturing. As India accelerates toward aerospace self-reliance, its vast rare earth element reserves, third largest globally at 6.9 million metric tons, are emerging as critical enablers for the Tejas MK2 and AMCA stealth fighter programs. To counter China's dominance in rare earth element processing, the Ministry of Defense is pursuing a dual strategy, boosting domestic extraction through the National Critical Minerals Mission and securing strategic imports from the US, Australia, Vietnam, and Japan. These rare earth elements vital for radar systems, engine coatings, and lightweight alloys will drive India's next generation fighter fleet elevating indigenous content to 80% in AMCA production by the early 2030s. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.